Hey, David Brewster here, new episode of 3 for All. This is 3 Dean Parks Licks from 1978, and I recently posted the guitarist of Steely Dan rant video, and in that episode, I included a lick from Dean Parks, and immediately after I posted that video, I noticed in the comments section there were viewers talking about that lick, like, man, that Dean Parks lick's really cool. Yeah, it was really cool. And Dean's a great player, a legendary, you know, session and studio ace. And even though his name may not be a household name, a lot of the music that he recorded and worked on, you know, in the studio is household music, very famous and popular songs. And I'm very excited to put this episode together. This is the first time we really looked at Dean's music and guitar playing before. And uh, there's some great licks hiding this episode. So here we go. So while doing the research and putting this episode together, I was blown away at Dean's resume. You know, all the albums and studio sessions and everything he's done in his career. It really is like music history, just kind of noticing what's on his resume. So here's an image with some of the famous people he's worked with. Keep in mind, this is just a partial list. There's a whole bunch of other people he's worked with aside from this, but this is really impressive. While checking out Dean's bio and his resume, I noticed he actually has done a lot of scoring and soundtracks for Hollywood films, which I didn't actually realize that until I looked it up. And it's like, oh wow, there's a whole bunch of Hollywood, you know, on his resume too. So here's another image with some famous movies where you can actually hear Dean Parks playing guitar. So the licks and ideas in this episode came from a live TV appearance in 1978 from the band Bread, and Dean was actually performing with Bread live, you know, at that time, around 77 and 78. And this was technically at the end of Bread's career, like they kind of broke up not too long after this. But there are some really cool licks hiding in this episode. And most players out there might be thinking Bread, you know, kind of a soft rock, you know, group from the 70s. And even though I'm not really a big soft rock fan, you know, bands like Air Supply or Neil Diamond and stuff like that, but there always are some interesting, you know, guitar moments, maybe like a little solo or some fills or stuff, chord parts and vamps, you know, hiding in those songs. So even though it may not be your favorite style of music, don't overlook the music because you can actually find some really cool things hiding in those soft rock gems from the 70s. So anyway, here we go. All right, the first lick's actually a repeat of the same lick that I featured in the Steely Dan rant video. And I'm including this again because it's such a cool lick and it also kind of sets the stage and the kind of mood for this lesson. And just as a review, it's basically played over a B flat minor seven chord. And then it moves to E flat seven. So like a minor one to that major four, kind of signaling Dorian right there, but like a... starting with this kind of partial B flat minor or B flat minor uh, arpeggio and you're going to basically kind of walk up like that and then hammer on that uh, B flat to C which is the ninth of B flat like that and then right there you want to bend that C up a half step and then reach back and grab this A note and that's going to be an implied uh, like B flat minor major seven right there temporarily so you did the arpeggio with the hammer on, that little half step bend back to that A note, and then that C to B flat. When you go back to that B flat, you're going to come down that arpeggio, and at the end, when you get to that D flat, and then hammer on to E flat at the end, like that. So really slow, it's... that song so well. Great lick. Okay, next up's a jazzy sweep lick, and this is from the same song, and I, I know you might be thinking jazzy sweeps in 1978, but yeah, jazzy sweep lick. And uh, actually, Dean's using a pentatonic substitution on this lick too, which is very interesting. But let me play it first. I'm going to play the, the correct chord behind me so you can kind of hear the tonality. 
but the next lick's like this. <laughs> twice in a row right there but you can hear he's doing and that's the lick right there and he's playing it over a D flat major 7 right so you might be wondering like how is he doing this so the pentatonic substitution he's using he's basically playing a minor pentatonic up a major third which is really common in jazz and fusion and if you think of, you know, D flat minor pentatonic, like the box right there. So there's your D flat right there. We're going up a major third. So we're going to basically go from D flat and we're going to reach all the way up there to that F, which is your major third of, you know, D flat. So instead of playing D flat minor pentatonic, we're going to play F minor pentatonic over that D flat major seven chord. And this might sound strange. technically you know you have to actually move out of the scale to find that D flat root note right but over that chord you can hear how that scale fits right and then for that lick he's basically doing right there in the beginning crafty kind of setup right there and then here's your sweep and think Woody Woodpecker right there right? good old Woody Woodpecker sweeps but he's doing like that so your sweep is basically that F A flat and that C and then you're gonna do that E flat to C you know pull off like that so he's doing, and then he starts doing this kind of stock bending, like bluesy bending leg, like that, two of those, and then, and that's how he ends it, and ends on that F note, so one more time there. appropriate chord cool lick okay next up's a bluesy slip and slide phrase and this is really cool it's played over a G minor 7 there's some index finger bending action happening too like this <laughs> One more time. So like I said, we're in G minor 7 now. And uh, he's basically doing these index finger bends in the beginning. The first time he's doing a bend and release, and he's really just bending this A up to a B flat. So it's a minor, you know, minor second or a half step bend. Like that. So the first time he does the bend, you know, just picks the first, you know, the first time he does the bend and release. Then the second time he bends it and then releases the bend and picks it again. Like that. And then right there, he basically does a slide right there. This is where the slip and slide comes in. So right there, grab that D note, shift back and slide to that C, pick up that B flat, and then you're going to grab that C and shift slide back into that D and grab F. Like that. And then the timing on this slide is kind of interesting. He slows down on that C, D to F, and then he does a quick slide again, this D up to that uh, F note and grabs G, and then he does... So he does the slide into that F, grabs G, and then he does this A, B flat, A to G, you know, single notes on the G string. And he ends with this D bent up to E and then back to D, like that. So he's doing... Really 
tasty and cool lick. <laughs> Okay, next up's this funky bending lick, and this is really cool. It's over the same song, so we're still playing over G minor seven. It's something like this. <laughs> still playing over G minor 7 and he basically starts with the open G and then I'm hearing like maybe that A note fretted and then he slides that all the way up to the octave G on the 12th fret right there. So kind of a lazy, you know, kind of slide. When you get to that G note then you're going to hop over to the high E and grab that D note and then you're going to start smear bending this B flat on the B string like and just kind of make that, you know, sour kind of bend. And then grab E right there, back to that B flat and kind of sour bend. And then grab F, right? So you're doing this. And then. So you're doing. So when you get that F, go back to B flat, then it's two Ds on the high E. And then another index finger bend there, that A to B flat up and down like that so and then right there it's like D minor uh, blue scale so you're coming down that so when he comes down that little part of the blue scale then you're gonna go right back into that C and play that four times kind of milk bending that B flat again and then that G F G at the end. So one more time. Definitely Dean likes those index finger bends too. Really cool. Okay, here's a bonus lick from this footage, and I realize this is technically the fifth lick that I've included in this episode, and this is three for all, and I almost always include a bonus lick. But the reason there are five is I started with the Steely Dan rant, that kind of exotic jazzy lick, and that was a repeat of something we've already looked at, so that's why there are five licks in this episode. I swear to you I can count. I can definitely count to five. But uh, this is a really interesting phrase, and basically Dean's playing over B, and then it moves to A. And it's got this kind of kind of rhythm like that. And he's doing this really cool like melodic phrasing. And he starts off with some kind of hammer on pull off flutters. And then he starts moving like two notes per string where it almost feels like pentatonic. But then he follows that with three note per string runs where he's kind of mixing like pentatonic based and then more traditional three note per string, you know, scales. Something like this. <laughs> So he starts right here, it's all on the G string right there, so hammer on pull off right there um, between that F sharp and G sharp, and then E and F sharp, and then D and E right there, and you're going to do a hammer on right there, that D sharp to E, so right there that D sharp to E hammer on, uh, D sharp, and then you're grabbing that C sharp to B right there. And then after you get down to that B note, then you're going to walk back up right there. Right? And then right there is where he kicks in three notes per string. So he did... Uh, like that. Now after you do that, you're going to do it again right there. So, and then when you get to that, on this last note, you're going to bend that E to F sharp, you know, bend it up a whole step, and then end on that C sharp right there. So really slow. You know, what a really cool lick. I love the 
way he's phrasing, you know, using those different types of scales like that. <laughs> Alright, that's going to wrap this episode of 3 for All with this look at 3 Dean Park Slicks from 1978. And like I mentioned at the beginning, Dean's a great guitarist, but to most people on the street, they have no idea who he is, they don't know his name or anything about him, but they do know a lot of the music that he helped create and record in the studio. And that's really interesting, and that type of thing goes all the way back to people like Tommy Tedesco, which of course I love Tommy, arguably one of the most recorded guitarists ever. And, you know, with Tommy, and then eventually you got into players like, you know, Larry Carlton, Steve Lukather, Dan Huff, Michael Landau, and some of those session, you know, cats and studio aces. And it's really interesting that most of those players didn't become, like, glorified rock stars. They were just session musicians kind of behind the scenes in a studio. And with Dean, I think that was his interest. I think he liked working with the studio players, kind of behind the scene, the smoky, you know, studio and I don't think he was really worried about being a rock star or playing like big stages or anything like that. Even though he did eventually, you know, tour with people like Bread and some other groups. But uh, very interesting guitarists. And I like that kind of behind the scenes kind of secret world of session and studio musicians. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to Nate Lessons and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.